welcome back to Soccer Egg 2012. <laughs> similar to Euro uh, 2012, only here England have a chance of actually winning unless it goes to penalties. Uh, joining me are four men who uh, either yeah. can't wait for kickoff or can't wait to call their agents and ask what the hell have you got me into. It's Will Ferrell, Joe Butler, Mike Mayes, <laughs> and the man. Yes. And the man who, despite everything else he's done in his career, is known the world over as the penalty-taking hero of 2010. It's Woody Allen. Yeah. Yes, Woodstock, you know it. Um, well, the big day's arrived, man. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel great. Uh, I didn't. When they said there'd be 70,000 people here, I thought they were kidding. Uh -huh. uh, there actually is. Yeah, more than that. It's one of those things so, that when they call you, you go, and if you sit on your thing, yeah, be yeah right, sure. whatever. But uh, this is uh, going to be one of the more exciting things I've ever gotten to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I heard today that, um, I read on Twitter that if you if you score your goal celebration, right. we'll get you deported. Can you? <laughs> that's, all I can, that's all I can divulge. No, yeah. no more? It will immediately get me deported. Damn it, man. Yeah. Uh, George, you're a Celtic fan. You've, you've played a bit of football yourself. You've just come in from Cannes. I know that. How does this feel? Oh, this is amazing. I mean, this is maybe the most famous ground in the world other than Celtic Park and that uh, you know I trained here <laughs> yesterday you, we had you, a bit of a kick about Woody and I here at the park and I, I, I mean it's just the the atmosphere is it's unbeatable have you ever played like anything like you've done a couple of charity games you've played just one charity like game and that was actually I was playing against Roy Keane it was Celtic against Man United that was my first 11 aside game in five years of it <laughs> it's a baptism of fire yeah, right? yeah. so how are you feeling about this now looking forward to it I f yeah I'm, I mean I, I'm I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm, but I'm ready to go. Any pre-match rituals? Uh, no, just uh, pretty much spend as much time I can, as I can away from the boys in the toilet. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Until they force me to come out and push me onto the park. Mike, you've been here before. Yes. You've, um, you've played, of course, with the likes of Zidane, Figo. Sure. Uh, have you got any... I'd like to think they play with the likes exactly. of Mike Myers. But yeah. anyways, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, any advice you'd give the, you know, the new guys here? Pee before you go out. Uh huh. That's it. Yeah. That's all we need. And um, just. Uh... Just think of the rest of the world. Absolutely. That's uh, what I, you know what? Yeah. Woody, we're such rest of the world fans, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? Woody, yeah. uh, you were the hero of 2010. Um, when they said to me, you know, you're going to get Woody in the studio, I had just said one thing, we have to get the penalties. We need, we need to see this again, all right? Can we just take, take a look at Woody's penalty in 2010? Absolutely. Swag! Let's have a little practice, Woody, from the edge of the area. <laughs> Now that's confidence. A penalty taker is a little uncertain as to exactly what a penalty is. He's done! Oh! <laughs> the rest of the world's first ever victory in a soccer aid match comes virtue of Woody from Cheers. That's just one of the world's great life affirming moments. Your eyes, man, you were like, whoa! Yeah. Uh, it shows that think good things can happen to unlikely people. <laughs> yeah. Two questions I have to ask you. Did you think you, you were taking the penalty outside the penalty area? So did you know where the... Well, I'd never really taken a penalty kick before, so I wasn't quite sure went, where the ball was. You were fussed, were you? Yeah. Wherever it takes. Uh, exactly. Yeah. What did Mike... Do you remember what Mike said to you on the way over there? Which looks like some kind of great team tour. Yeah, Have you he, peed? I think he was, he was I said, telling me... I wanted to he... make sure he'd peed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm insanely obsessed with it. I think he might have been telling me to kick to the right. I did. And you did. And to keep it on the ground. And it happened. Okay. All yeah. right, uh, thank you very much, guys. More from them in a minute. Let's take a look back at day two of training when the rest of the world squad received a massive boost. For my money, pound for pound, the best midfielder in the world has turned up. Him, Roy. Good, but we haven't trained yet. Ask me in a couple of hours, I'm feeling. That was Roy Keane, giving everybody a bit of attitude. That's what the dressing room needs. Maybe a kick up the old you know what, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what James just said, but that was Roy Keane. Okay. <laughs> He's a badass. Express is and Keane's arrival has rattled England. I think it's the first one. Everybody's gone. <gasps> Oh, uh, look at it, watch this, look. look at the touch here, look. Just watching Seedorm and him kicking a ball across the field to each other's poetry. Yeah. 
He's been doing that all morning. There he is, the greatest living Irish man in the world. I only ever had two posters on my wall, Roy Keane and Michael Flatley. Michael wasn't available. But whilst the rest of the world have gained a player, England may be about to lose one of theirs. I was running around, fine with the lads having a good time, and as soon as I tried to kick the ball, I couldn't move. Really just it felt like someone was stabbing me with a bread knife. So uh, I came off, and they uh, and they, <laughs> they all looked to the ground and sent me for an MRI. If I can walk on the pitch for five minutes, I'll be happy. But we'll see. The result of this scan will decide whether Jason will play in a theatre of dreams on Sunday. Another scan and uh, I'm going to go and ice it all day and hope for a bit of um, Harry Potter magic. You never know. Back at training, Kino's arrival has got the rest of the world squad all fired up. No one told me ahead of time they're not supposed to walk up and hug Roy Kane. And that's the first thing I did. I hugged him, picked him up, gave him a big wet kiss on the cheek. He said, nice to meet you too. Kenny was giving me pointers on kind of, you know, finishing, watching the ball all the way through. Because remember, the goal never moves. That's what he told me. Whilst the rest of the world start to look like a team to be reckoned with, England could yet struggle to fill the starting 11. It's high, oh man. Yeah, it's very high. <laughs> We're falling like flies. A lot of the lads are injured or carrying injuries. We've all got our sort of telly showbiz injuries. Jason's got an A-list Hollywood movie star injury. We're just hoping that everyone's fifth for Sunday. After being forced to watch training from the stands, I actually do feel a bit sorry for myself. Jason's finally called in to see the team doctor. I put the report through. There is a small muscle tear, unfortunately. It's not just swelling, it is actually a tear of the muscle. What uh, does that mean? It means that any running, sprinting, so kicking a ball with your laces is going to be very painful. You say that can't play? There's a high chance you'll make it worse. One of you guys hack him down in training, is that what happened? And I wasn't we... even here yet, so okay. I'm not taking the blame for that one. Uh, uh, Will, you look like you're having a lot of fun uh, yeah. in, uh, in training, but is, is, today, is today competitive at all for you, or are you just, are you just here to have a good time? Today, uh, yes, I'm just, I'm just going to try to not be the worst player on the pitch, that's the goal. So, uh, um, no, I'm, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to, to playing hard and I hope I can keep up with everyone Have out you there. bonded at all with Roy Keane, have you, because I'm, I'm sorry well, that Well, I was just saying in the, uh, the uh, package that. there that, uh, no one told me that you're not supposed to give him a hug and a big kiss on the cheek when, when you first meet him. Yeah, I, I lifted him up off the ground <laughs> and just said, "Come here, yeah, Roy. What, <laughs> you're my little, you're my little cuddly bear, baby Roy." And he did not respond to it. Actually, he didn't. He, he just stoically just went rigid. Got rigid. Yeah. Have you made inroads uh, subsequently to? Have you, you have you bonded at all with Roy off the he, back of that? He waved at me uh, at breakfast on. Friday morning, I believe. <laughs> I believe he was waving at me. If you could read anything into that wave, is it a good wave? Or I, was it I, I think of... it was really positive. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gerard, um, obviously from 300, are you, are you, are you getting your, any of the speeches from, from the movie? You, you know, you get any kind of like, <laughs> yeah. you got the guys bronzed and ready to the go. The appears in these pink ties. <laughs> the appears gave us these stupid English bulldog cufflinks. What are you thinking? We're not going to be beaten by these English stuff. So tonight we dine in hell! <laughs> Woody, how did that work for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm motivated. <laughs> By the way, I just said, we seem like four of the most unmotivated guys right now. We're all oh, like, uh, Woody, sum up the whole Soccer Aid experience for us. Because I love that when you came last time, you only took it out when you were 40, right? You, you, you did this, I think, when you were 47. You used to go down Battersea Park and play with some kids, and I thought that was just a press spiel. Mm. And then at the after show, I met them, and they're like, no, we're Woody's friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, to me, it's a great experience. You're hanging out with legends of football, legends of, uh, of entertainment, and you're doing a good thing with uh, UNICEF, which yeah. is a terrific organization, yeah. helping kids and feeding kids, educating kids, so I think it's... It's awesome to be here. What about really you, Mike? Cool. I just wish I had a Texas accent. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> uh, no, this is unbelievable. You know, my uh, my family's from the north of England, so for me, it's just 
It's unbelievable. Yeah, you're a big Liverpool fan, right? I'm, I am. Which I know you shouldn't be saying around these parts, Not but still. Not here, okay. but yes, I am a big <laughs> Liverpool fan. Uh, just heard as well, the great news is so far already, bear in mind we've only been just uh, come on air, we've raised £70,000, which is fantastic. Woo! Keep ringing though, all right? Keep ringing, we know we can do a lot better than that. Uh, the boys need to go and get ready, so uh, thanks to Mike Myers, Woody Harrison, Gerard Butler, Will Ferrell! Woo!